Welcome to day one, ladies. I'm gonna be talking through the first round of this and then we will just have music on. We're starting with our warm up with 20 seconds of marching in place. This is to get your heart rate up and to get you ready for the work that you are about to do. Try to get those knees as high as you can and get those arms moving as well. This is gonna be a total body circuit. So by the end of the warm up, you should feel somewhat warm at least and like you're ready to get to work. All right, we're gonna take it down to the floor and do our cat cow. This is your cat and then cow. Remember to keep your knees under your hips and your elbows and wrists under your shoulders. This is just meant to warm up your core and your spine. We're doing six of these. Remember to keep breathing. All right, up next, we're gonna go into down dog and into quad. Down dog, then down to quad or hands and knees. Push your hips back and then your heels towards the floor when you're in down dog. All right, we're gonna do single limb balance. Being able to balance on one leg is super important for pretty much everything that we do in this workout and many other workouts. Any workout that has any walking or jumping or lunging at where you have one leg in front of the other, working on that balance is really important. You're gonna switch legs. You're just gonna maintain that for 20 seconds each side. Remember to keep your big toe down in your shoe or on the floor. All right, let's get ready for round one. Go ahead and grab your chair. We're gonna do our lunges. If you don't need the chair, feel free not to use it. We're doing a three by eight of all of these exercises, so eight reps. These are your lunges. Once you get done with eight on one side, you're not going to do what I do, <laughs> which is forget to switch legs. So make sure you switch legs so you get hit both sides evenly. So eight reps each leg. And it's okay if your knee goes out a little bit over your ankle. All right, this is gonna be our overhead press. So you're just gonna wrap the band around your hands and you're gonna put it under the chair and then push over your head. And that should warm up your shoulders pretty well. Eight reps of that. You can set your chair aside for now. We're not gonna need it until the next round. We're gonna do our rows. So this is gonna work your back and your lats. You can bend over more than I am if you want. You can do this sitting in the chair if you need to. So you'd be seated and just bending over with a band under your feet. This is a good angle to hit your mid and upper, upper back though. All right, you're gonna anchor it under your feet again to do your goblet squats. So keep your feet about hip width apart. You can go out a little further if you'd like to. And then you're gonna squat down, holding the band at chest level. That's not gonna move at all. The only thing that's going to move is your lower body. 
If this exercise is too challenging for you right now, you can absolutely have your hand on the chair and just get rid of the band while you practice your squatting or you can have the chair behind you. For our bicep curls, you're just gonna anchor the band under your feet, keeping your elbows close to your body and bringing your hands towards your shoulders. This is your pull aparts. This is also going to hit the muscles in your upper back, right in between your shoulder blades. Control the band as you bring it back towards the middle. And try to really focus on your shoulder blades coming together as you pull the band apart. Our last exercise of the first round is a wall sit for 20 seconds. You wanna get your hips and knees at 90 degrees, kind of like you're sitting in a chair. Press your back fully up against the wall, including your head. And then just hang out for the 20 seconds. You may feel a little shaky. You may not be able to make it the full 20 seconds right now, but that's okay. There is time to improve. All right, you have a couple minutes. Before going into round two, we're gonna start with our lunges again. Remember to do eight reps each side.
This is the optional 30 burpee burner, ladies. You can choose to do this or not. I'm gonna demonstrate how to do all three types of burpees. This is the easiest type, where you just walk your feet out, and then walk them in, hands down, feet back, feet in, hands in the air, okay? This is the lowest impact. If you don't trust your core or your legs or your arms, this is a great initial option. This is the next step up where you jump your legs out and in. So same hands to the floor. Feet back, feet in, and then small jump. And then the most advanced has a push up. Hands down, push up. Hands down, push up, feet in, jump. Hands down, push up, feet in, jump. So you can choose to do this Bernie Bur Burpee Burnout if you would like to. Um, if not, you've done an awesome job today, ladies, and I look forward to seeing you in the future.